We're at the call center on the campus of the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh where tonight the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders take on Oshkosh West. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is Tom Grams taking over for the coach Chris Wright. Tom, Oshkosh West is uh, the number one seed in this sectional and they're a state champs from last year. They must have a target on their back every time they played this year. I'm sure everybody's been gunning for them all year, Marty. They, came, they were actually ranked number one in the state at the beginning of the year. I think they're ranked number three in the state right now. They've got a couple losses, but they're, they've got a lot of experience back. They're a good team, and uh, they seem to have handled the challenge all year. So it'll be the North's chance tonight to get at them. Jim Eisner would always say, whenever you start tournament action, there's always one team that seems to come out of nowhere. Now, North obviously isn't doing that, but they are doing something that's really important. They're hitting the top of their stride in terms of their play. They're, they've really been playing well lately. One of the things I always thought, Marty, during tournament time is the teams that rose to the occasion were those teams that had find some unexpected contributor whose game just stepped up a bit, you know, maybe somebody off the bench who just gets hot in the tournament and all of a sudden doubles their scoring average and if they just give the rest of the kids a lift. And so if we get somebody like that, uh, that could make the difference. They seem to have different contributors each night. I know it was uh, Free and uh, Kellner at Oshkosh uh, North. And then uh, last night, uh, Alex Jordan really stepped it up and made the winning basket at 13 points. He averages about four a game. But let's talk a little bit about Oshkosh because they've got some great players. You know, if you're going to have a great team, you have to have a lot of contributors, and they do. Well, certainly the two players everybody talks about on their team are Tim Jarmuz, who is going to UW Madison, and you know one of their recruits for this year, big time player, uh, you know six seven, their leading scorer, shoots from the perimeter a lot, handles the ball, plays good defense. He's got the he's the full package, and then their other big player is Austin Meyer. His dad was Todd Meyer, played at Indiana for Bobby Knight, was a high school star in Wisconsin, played a lot of AAU ball and the national level along with Jarmuz. So. They're, they've got a lot of experience and really good players. One of the things that Oshkosh likes to do is get the lead early and then, I don't want to say necessarily sit on it, but really make you work on defense. Yeah, and that's that's going to be key, I think, uh, the first four or five minutes of the game. If North can play with them and keep their confidence level up and, and you know, can drop some of those three-pointers that, you know, they're so well known for, this could be really a heck of a game. I don't think it's going to be the up-and-down game we saw or Chris and I saw at Oshkosh North uh, last Saturday, but it could be a very interesting game. At least it should be. Well, you know, if North's shots are dropping, they can play with anybody, and, uh, you know, let's hope that's the case tonight. With that, we're going to step out, and we come back. We'll find out if North's shots are dropping. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineup and a tip-off for this, this evening's basketball game. Low-fat cheese sandwiches on whole wheat bread. Chewy and good for you. Snacks high in calcium help build strong bones. And foods rich in fiber are good for your heart. So you have the power to dominate. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. a child from foster care. Just being there makes all the difference. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here.
If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Back at the call center, they're getting ready to uh, introduce the starting lineups. I'll throw out a thank you to uh, Craig Leader, the athletic director at Oshkosh North. Uh, they really run a fine show here at the call center for sectionals, and they've done it for a number of years. Testing, one, two, testing. Some audio problems we've got that taken care of, hopefully. They're running through the uh, non-starters for both ball clubs, and now they'll go through the starters. Sheboygan North will be the home team tonight. Number 12, Tim Jarmus is a 6'7 senior. We mentioned him in the opening. Number 20, Brent Heelsberg is a six foot senior guard. Number 22, Brady Borgard is a 6'3 senior. Number 42, Austin Myers is a 6'5 senior. And number 44, John Benkoski is a 6'8 junior. There you saw Jarmo was coming out. For Sheboygan North, they'll be starting senior Derek Deasing, he's 6'1. Also starting for the Raiders will be six foot guard and a senior, Alex Jordan, number 21. Number 25 is Tim Schwer, a six foot two junior. Number 31 is TJ Kellner, a 6'3 junior. And rounding out the starting five for North, there you see him, number 51, Tom Eirich is a 6'4 junior. North comes in with a record of 17 and six. West, 21 and two. North is the number six seed in this sectional. Oshkosh, the number one seed. Our officials tonight are Daniel Johnston, Bob Glendy, and Jim Pueoff. Should, should be a dandy, Marty. Uh, just looking at the pregame notes and uh, saw that uh, Lance Randall now in his third year at uh, Oshkosh West. Coming into this year, his record at the school was 47-1. and one. Oops. <laughs> That's pretty doggone good. Now they've got two losses so far this year, so you know, they're about... Six, uh, about 70 wins and three losses, something like that. All right, here we go. Eric jumping center for Sheboygan and for uh, and Ben Koski for uh, Oshkosh West. For a sectional final game, the call center is very full, especially on the Oshkosh side. It's almost totally packed on their side. 
West controls the tap. That's Austin Meyer with the ball. And uh, Borgard has it right now. Jarmo's coming out on top. They get it over to uh, Healdsburg. Meyer has it on top. North Mark. and a man-to-man -man defense. And Dodge is on Jarmo's right now, and that's about a seven-inch height differential. Outside shot by Myers, no good. Bar good block out by Tom Eirich. North on the push. They stopped uh, Jordan from going down the middle. No foul called. You gotta expect to let him play a little more here in the sectional finals. Or I said Dodge on Jarmus, I meant uh, Jordan. Jordan on a pull up jumper in the lane, couldn't get it to goal. Jarmus Jarmus comes away the with the rebound. No score, rolling down to uh, seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. We won't have to call the score out as much this time, Tom. <laughs> they do have uh, graphics and, uh, and... And a couple of cameras today. And a couple slow cameras. Slow motion and replay. And I don't know about the slow-mo, but we'll have the replay. <laughs> Oshkosh working the perimeter. Short jump shot is up and in by uh, Borgard. Nice high release on that shot. Kellner from outside the line. His shot is no good. Borgard comes away with the rebound. Good pressure on uh, Kellner's shot. Schwerer guarding, guarding Borgard. Tim had a tough game last night. He's hoping to come back with a strong game this evening. West working the perimeter. They'll make you work on defense, Tom. We mentioned that in the opening, too. Look at that height differential uh, that Jarmuth has. Borgard pull up in the lane, high release, his shot is no good. Ball tipped around, and Meyer came away with it. Jarmus on a sailor, nails it. Tim Jarmus, four to nothing West. And Jarmus is the kid that tipped the ball to his teammate th to keep it alive. Ball tipped away by Jarmus, now they get it into Kellner. He's uh, doubled up, and then he gets the ball tipped away by Meyer, and West has it. Falling out of play, Kimberly. Jarmos has it on the wing, being guarded by Jordan. Deezing a little late on getting back on the recovery, but the shot is missed. Meyer, no fall on the over the back on Eirich. Nice rebound North, by Eirich. Yeah, but North keeps it. Double screen for uh, Deezing, he's open. Quick release, high arching Short. shot, no good. Coming away with the board that time was Ben Kosky, number 44. That is an interesting matchup. Oh, inside feed to Ben Kosky, and he puts it up and in. Easy two, six to nothing, West. That high load post feed, and with that height, height advantage that Oshkosh has, that's going to be tough to defend. Over the last uh, month or so of games that we've seen uh, North, Jordan has been taking it to the hoop very, very hard and drawing a lot of fouls as he did there. That, that foul was on Austin Meyer, his first. And uh, Alex Jordan will be going to line, hoping to uh, break the drought by North. Get North on the board. North looks a little tight here, Marty. We need to get him going. Last night, Jordan hit on 9 of 10 free throws. At 13 points in the ball game. Got that one to roll in. Nice soft touch by Alex. It's six to one. North putting a little pressure on now after the score. Meyer has it across the line, being guarded by uh, Kellner. North trying to apply the pressure. That's what they're noted for. You know, like West is going to make North work. Uh, North is going to do the same thing to them. Benkoski's shot is no good, and it goes right over the hand of Tom Eirich. Over to Jarmus. Healdsburg has it. Gets it over. Oh, nice inside feed to Meyer, but it goes off his hands. Borgar trying to feed it down low. I think that was a good pass, Marty. Meyer should have had it. Yeah, right in his hands. Yeah. Hit him in a bad spot. <laughs> and he pulls in the ball game as is Nolan Free
Pass into Schwer in the corner north, working the perimeter. They're having a hard time finding an opening. Oh, Kel oh Schwer right down the lane. Nice hesitation dribble. Defense relaxed a little bit, and then he yeah. powered it down there and took it to the hoop. Relax a bit is what they did it. North down 6-3. Jarma was being guarded by Free. That's an interesting matchup, too. Meyer drive to the basket, got it up and in. 8-3, to three. West on top. Dumped down into uh, Eirich. He touched the baseline, out of bounds. West will get it back. Playing the tough defense down deep was Dave Anderson, who came in the ballgame. Anderson is a 6'8 freshman, Tom. Wow. Number 40. He looks mature for a freshman. Yeah, really. Meyer. Touch fall there. Yeah, on fall Kellner. on Kellner. That'll be his first. First team fall on North. Each team with one team fall. We're rolling down to uh, three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Mike Martin along with Tom Grams. Inside feed to Anderson. Short shot is no good. And ripping the ball away as Andy pulls. North on a bust out. Good cover up defense by West to prevent uh, Nolan Free from getting the pass in the corner. Pulls being guarded by Meyer. And then a pounce pass to Schwer is stolen by Meyer. Meyer's short shot is no good. And then Anderson. Trying to get the rebound, ran over or through. Kellner commits a foul. That'd be nice to hit a basket here, Tom. You're only down by yeah. five. We pop one of those threes in here. We're right there. Uh, right. You know, in spite of our drought at the beginning of the game. Well, both teams really playing tough defense. It's not going to be 92 to 90, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> They'd have to go some to get there now. Kellner coming off a double screen, but playing a tough defense as Meyer. Pop, pop back jumper is no good. Strong rebound by Thomas. Thomas, yeah, I missed that name there. There we go. And boy, I don't I didn't see what happened there. He actually uh he trip over his own guy? Hillsburg Hillsburg just slipped and uh you're gonna see it on your screen. Maybe we can See, he just slipped. He stumbled, I think. Uh, we have to give him the turnover on that one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Schwer, a lot of dribbling, looking for an opening. Can't find it. Now he gets fouled. Yeah. Reaching in was Brent Hillsburg. That's the third team foul on West. North only has one, but the West leads it 8-3. to three. Oshkosh zoning the inbounds play. Nolan Free got it up and in over the tall timber. He muscled that one up, Marty. He did. Now North applying pressure in the backcourt. Handling it very well was Borgard. Gets it over to Heelsburg. Meyer on a pump fake. Oh. No foul called. Dumped down inside. Basket is up and in by Woyan. Looked like Meyer got away with uh, an Major, offensive foul. Yeah, there, major it? push. Free from way outside. Can't get it in. Schwer comes away with the rebound. Kellner from outside the line. No good. Healdsburg with the rebound. And we get a timeout by West. 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Need one of those threes to go, boy. They had a couple yeah. of good looks at last time. Boy, that was uh, quite a collision down there, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Meyer had the ball and for no call. And it did look, I don't know how, about, how you feel about it, it looked like he brought his forearm up, you know, just enough to create some space yeah. and that North player just went flying. And then he was able to dump it off inside and Oshkosh got the bucket out of it to make the score 10 to five now. We've got a minute and 11 seconds left in the first quarter. North with only five points on the board. They, they need to get that lid off the bucket, Marty. There is some truth, Tom. You know, no harm, no foul, but that certainly wasn't the case that time. No, because uh, certainly Oshkosh West came away with a bucket on the play. 
Now they got a chance to get uh, Jarmus back in the game. I think that's one of the reasons he called that 30-second uh, timeout. He'd been trying to get Jarmus back in the game, and there wasn't a stoppage of play. There you see some of the North High fans. They're concerned as we are. It's 10 to 5, West on top. Schwer applying the pressure. Dump back to Jarmos. Gets around free. Jump shot is up and in. He's just going to jump right over people with that jump shot, Tom. Yeah, and he's got a nice looking high release on it. You know, he's 6 7 to start with. He releases it high, and, a, and certainly a good shooter. Corey Dodge has it on the wing. The North defenders are going to have to get that ball when he's got it down low. Corey looking to shoot the three, but didn't. He shot one last night, Tom. I didn't think it was a very good shot. That time he made a good decision. 12 5. 25 seconds remaining. Oshkosh is guarding North out on the floor. You know, they know North's reputation for shooting the three. Shot is no good by North. Coming away with the rebound was number 44, John Benkoski. 10 seconds left. Jarmus has it, being mm -hmm. guarded by Nolan Free. They're going to clear out for Jarmus and let him take the last shot. Jarmus in the lane, shot no good. Myers rebound put back is, and another basket by West. And we're at the end of the first quarter. West, 14, North, 5. Mom, Jimmy's sick again. Mm, you were always sick, too. Uh, not like him. You don't remember. He keeps getting infections. Uh, he takes after you. If your child is repeatedly sick, it may be PI, primary immunodeficiency disease, a defect of the immune system. The only way to know is by testing. Mom, this isn't normal. It's normal. It's not normal. Talk to us about PI. Pop quiz for you. In what movie did I play a gang leader struggling in school? Who was my teacher? What did I learn in math class? Oh, and here's one about you. What did your kid learn in math class today? Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school. And know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. Getting ready to start second quarter action. North trailing 14 to 5, and uh, we were commenting on the height advantage of West. And uh, when Jarmos takes it off the dribble, being guarded by oh, about a 5'10, 5'11 guy, and he's 6'7, it's a big advantage for West. Schwer being guarded by Borgart, or pardon me, Heelsburg. West playing man to man with uh, North. Jarmo is playing tough defense on Kellner, not allowing him to get it at the high post. Eirik over the crowd, shot it right over the top tough of shot. Ben Koski and put it in. Yeah, that we was a tough. We needed that one, and that was a, a tough hoop. <laughs> Good help defense by Nolan Free. And stepping up is Jordan. Made a good try for it, but just a touch late. Couldn't save it. Good effort there. North doubled the ball and uh, went for the up. steal, yep. And just about had it. You know who was really great at doing that? Was the South High team that your son played on. I thought they ran that kind of a press uh, as well as anybody I've ever seen. Well, they had some good quickness there, Ryan Miller. West has it. Healsburg gets it over to Jarmus. Healdsburg from the top of the circle, in and out, tap back up, no good. Meyer on the second tap, it is good. Two rebound attempts, uh, the second one goes down for Meyer, and uh, he also is bigger and stronger than most of the players, on, other players on the court. Well, Kellner trying to go through the crowd, bump into one of the West guys, no call, and his shot was missed. Shot missed on on this end by Benkoski. Bit of a wild shot. Called a kick against Oshkosh, so it'll be the North's ball out on the side. Steve Lacey in for uh, the Golden Raiders, number 35. 
14, pardon me, 16 to seven. West up. Jordan probing the middle, but uh, Meyer playing tough D. North runs their patterns well, but I tell you, it's just hard to get a shot off against those tall guys. Yeah. Yep. Jarman was on the reach there of the foul. Well, it'd be nice to get a couple more on him. <laughs> <laughs> but he's only got one. That's the fourth foul on uh, West. North's only got one foul. The officials are letting him play. I think if they let him play like this, it's an advantage for West because they're bigger and stronger. Dezang's three-point attempt is no good. Free wide open. His shot can't go down, and North just having a tough time nailing a three-point basket. Those were dropping. It'd be pretty exciting. Jarmos fouled by Dezang. Preventing the easy layup. I say that's probably a good fall, Tom. Yeah, the only problem is, of course, Jarmus is such a good shooter that you know the odds are he's going to be able to convert these. Uh, but but yeah, you know you don't want to. <laughs> You'd rather him have him shoot two free throws than a dunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and a dunk would have brought the house down. And we don't need that. By the way, I was watching this afternoon the game that uh, we did against Randolph, and they missed the second dunk. They did. <laughs> on, on that, that inbound feed, play? Yeah. Oh, that was a beauty. Jarmos converts both of them. 18-7. to seven. Jordan trying to dribble through, got stopped, and it was stolen away by West. Kick out to Heelsburg. He nails one. I think we need a timeout here, Coach. Full timeout by Sheboygan North. Here in the second quarter, the score is 21 to seven and West has broken it open. Well, what we were afraid of, we said North had to get off to a good start and they didn't. So uh, now it's catch up. However, one of the things, Marty, about North style of play is, you know, they can come back with right. their style of play. It's not like they're a deliberate team that has to run a lot of clock before they get, you know, get a shot off. They can get a lot of shots off in a short period of time. Well, and they've been getting shots off. They've had some actually some excellent looks from outside the three-point line, but, uh, you know, like we mentioned before, they just haven't been able to bury any. Well, and Oshkosh is a height advantage, and North's shots are contested. they got a hand in their face, and they're shooting over that hand that's up there, and... Uh, They've got to get some in transition and get the, you know, get the easy shot. Well, it seems like when West has missed some shots, they've either gotten the long rebound or the ball that's uh, up near the basket. They're so much taller, they uh, just tip it back up until well, they get it in. Jarmos has got four rebounds, and Austin Meyer's got four rebounds already. Free, driving to the hoop, picks up the foul. Heelsburg, I believe, is going to get called for that one. Free did a nice job of creating that contact that time. He actually moved into the defender, which is a good of offensive play, drew the foul, and had a chance for the bucket to go down at the same time. That was Heelsburg's first, pardon me, his second team foul. And that's the sixth, fifth team foul on West. I inadvertently mixed to Jarmus, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Wishful thinking? <laughs> exactly. Nolan. Puts in a couple of free throws. He has four points. It's 21 to nine. Be nice if we could create a couple turnovers off of our press. Thomas had it on the wing, gets it inside. And we get a foul. Foul goes on TJ Kellner. Yeah, that's his second, Mark. Yeah, that's that is good. his second. Nope. Coach Desatel yelled out and reminder him that's your second, but he is leaving him in the ball game. Jarmus pops out off the screen and soft touch. Velvety. Jarmus has eight points. 23 to nine. North working the perimeter, trying to find something open. They're having a very difficult time. Well, there's an offensive foul not called, but the travel is. Got a break on the foul, but it ended okay. up turning it over. It certainly looked like an offensive foul. One. Coach uh, Randall is saying, what about that off arm? Well, we haven't called it on the other side either, Coach. <laughs> and that is true. Austin Meyer helping bring the ball off the court. 
And then even it, with that, it's sort of a mismatch. Tom, pretty good feet, but I don't know if he's got the feet to match uh, Meyer. Meyer has the ball tipped away. Reach around by Eirich. Knocked it out of bounds. 4.26 remaining until halftime. North trails it 23 to 9. West so far showing why they're the number three ranked team in the state. Lacey and Schwer check in for North. And coming in for West is Paul Woolyon. Meyer has it on the wing. Finds an opening down the lane and lays it up and in. That was a nice screen set uh, by Woyan and opening up the lane for Meyer. Well, the other thing I thought he did pretty good on that, Tom, was he showed good patience. You know, he waited. Waited until yeah. the screen was set. Jordan. Not able to drive. And then uh, Tim Schwer loses the ball to Jarmus. Now well, Wes is going to get into the slowdown action again, I think, Tom. And uh, boy, they've got a nice lead. And I take it all back. Jarmus with a long three. And West, 28 to 9. 19 point lead. 3.30 remaining in the first half. And that time, foul called on Kevin Thomas of Oshkosh West. Jarmuth showed his uh, range on that jump shot. Oh boy, he was out there. Yeah. Dodge pulls and free coming in. Raiders are digging themselves a hole here, Marty. That's going to be tough to get out of. No, for sure. Schwer takes the inbound pass, gets it over to pulls. West still in a man-to-man. -man. But, uh, you know, like you mentioned, if they could hit a couple of threes, they'll be right back in it. West Alt plays good defense, though, Marty. Meyer right back on pulls. Lacey, jump shot, couldn't get it to go. The Raiders aren't getting a lot of open looks. That's the fifth rebound for Jarmus already in the first half. Good handling of the ball by uh, Brady Borgart. Meyer has it on wing, inside feed. Foul committed by North. Paul Woyan was looking at an easy putback until a foul was committed by Corey Dodge. He got him on the arm on the way up. Uh, shooting foul. It's the fourth team foul on the Raiders. West has six. Woyan, another one of those tall guys, goes 6'5", according to the program. And he has a nice soft touch, puts that free throw in. He's only a sophomore, Marty. Jeez. <laughs> So they got the 6'8 freshman, freshman and the 6'5 sophomore. That free throw rattles out. Oh no. Good save by Andy Poles. Uh, grab of the arm of free by a West player. Thomas, and that would be his second. Yeah. That is on uh, Kevin Thomas. And that is the seventh team foul on Oshkosh, so. Free will go to the line, it's 29 to nine. North down 20, and there's still 241 remaining in the first half. That's a, a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. Mostly good, because it gives you more time to come back. You know, it's Oshkosh's defense, you know, the Raiders have only scored nine points here, and we've got two and a half minutes left in the half. Meyer and Jarmo is fighting over the ball, and Jarmo comes away with it. West with the ball and a 20 point lead. Well, you know they're going to look. Whistle inside. Three second call, Marty. Good. They're trying to post up Jarmo, and in the, you know, they didn't get him the ball, and he had a foot in the lane. 
Kellner coming back in the game. He's got two fouls, so you've got to be careful he doesn't pick up that yeah. third in the first half. Yeah. Good move to get him back in the game, though, especially with uh, the possession on offense. Free trying to drive down the lane is stopped, and then he throws the ball out of bounds. Well, good overplay by West, forcing that turnover. Where has Borgard? He's a deft ball handler, Tom. There's that post up inside by Jarmuth. That's what they were trying to get last time. Well, Andy pulls in good position, though. He was in the, in the help side spot, but he does commit the foul. Jarmuth with 11 points so far in the ball game. Missed the free throw. Second free throw is up and in. Got a lot of arch on his shot, huh, Marty? He does. Gives you more opportunity to uh, make it go in, I would think. The flat shots aren't oh, quite as good. Although I played with a guy who had a very... Oh, Kellner with a nice move, puts it up and in. Tough shot, though, you know. The Raiders aren't getting a lot of easy shots. No, no, you're right there. Seems like every basket is really a You know, the easy struggle. ones they had were from outside the three-point line. They couldn't get them to go in. There's Another post up again. And it's good. Such High low feed. Such a mismatch, height-wise, in there. I was going to say about the kid that I played with that had the flat shot was Billy Pragles. But I tell you, it didn't matter much because it seemed like all his shots just went right in. They didn't uh, go up on the rim ever. Did you catch who that foul was on, Tom? It mm. took it off the board right away. No, I didn't. It, it might have been on free. Nolan has it on top. Good overplay by Jarmos to keep Kellner from getting the ball on the wing. You know, the other thing about Tim Jarmos is he's got such long arms. You know, he works hard on defense, too. They've got him on Kellner now. Yep. And I'll tell you, he's not, he can go way out. They're still not going to let him get the ball very easily. West working very hard. Ball tipped away by Meyer, but Pulls gets it back. 40 seconds remaining until halftime. 33 to 11. West on top. Oh, ball is. I think Pulls wanted to go over the top, but that was way over the top and out of bounds. Little miscommunication by the Raiders there. And when it's going bad, it yeah. goes bad. Really? Austin Meyer bringing the ball up. I really have been impressed with him. He really works hard. He's physical. He rebounds well. Unselfish. He's not the scorer that Jarmos is. West well, spreading him out. I was going to say Meyer on a different ball shot. club, he might be a scorer, you know, yeah. but they don't need that kind of play out of him. With this club, anyway. Clock rolling down under 10. Jarmos again looking for the last shot or the dump in. Boyan from 12, no good. Jarmos on a putback, does get it, and that's the half. Tim Jarmos, another basket, half ends, West on top, 35 to 11. An impressive display by UW recruit Tim Jarmos. Outgrown their toddler seat, they're still not ready for adult safety belts alone. Four foot nine is the magic number. Until then, kids need a booster seat. Make sure your little pumpkin gets there safely. 
Visit BoosterSeat.gov. This is a banana. This is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. Back at Oshkosh, uh, halftime clock rolling down to about 120. Let's go through some of the first half scoring. Here you see Krista Olson, Tommy Olson's sister. Uh, anyways, first half scoring for uh, Oshkosh West. Uh, Mr. Do Everything, Tim Jarmus had uh, 17 points. Following him was Austin Meyer, who also had a great half, had eight. Chipping in with three each was Brett Heelsberg and Paul Woyan. And then with two each were Jen, John Ben Kos Koski and Brady Borgart. For North, they were led by Nolan Free with four points. Chipping in with two each were Tim Schwer, TJ Kellner, and Tom Eirich, and Alex Jordan had the uh, 11th point of free throw. But uh, I'll tell you, West is the real deal. Very impressive, Marty. Uh, Jarmots, in addition to his 17 points, had six rebounds. Meyer had five rebounds in addition to his eight points. Those two guys were pretty dominant out there. The size differential is really something. North's got to figure out some way to create some turnovers and get the game more of a transition kind of game because uh, they're, they're not going to be able to win if they're going to let Oshkosh come down and set up and post up. One of the things you mentioned that I thought was a good point was when you're not scoring baskets, you're always dropping back into a half-court game or if you can score some baskets, you know, you can set up your press and uh, that's where North would have to make hay because they're not able to do it in the half-court game. North would look to create some turnovers usually, but... Yeah. In my stats here, I've got North with eight turnovers in the first half and Oshkosh with only two. Yeah, yeah that seems about right, too, because West uh, was very efficient running their offense. North had a lot of trouble with the uh, long arms and height of uh, Oshkosh West. Well, let's see how these first few minutes of the second half uh, go, Marty. We, we should be able to tell whether the Raiders are going to be able to stage a run here and get back into it. It's 35 to 11, West up by 24. Jarmus uh, gets the ball out on the court, being guarded by uh, Tom Eirich. North continues in a man-to-man -man defense. One thing we haven't seen uh, North do yet this half, or this ball game actually, is uh, go into their 1-3-1, trapping zone. Jordan with the rebound there. Raiders would like to hit one here quick. Good help defense by Jarmus. Pop back jumper by him. Eirich is no good. And coming away with the rebound was John Benkoski. Even that shot attempt was altered. Right, uh, yeah. Well, you can't go straight up. The guy's too tall. Yeah. Jarmus looking for the up down, but Benkoski was pretty well guarded. Jump shot is up and in by... Brady Borgart, his second basket of the ball game. He has four points. Schwer, little push shot in the lane is up and in. Nice shot by Tim. Yep. Needed that one. Need a bunch more now. <laughs> yeah. We needed some stops here, first of all. One thing that. Uh, Ziegler kid from uh, Nina was able to do from the point guard spot was get in front of the North defenders and you know create some situations where uh, they'd have the advantage on a not necessarily a fast break but by the time he'd beat that top defender one on one he did create some numbers down underneath for Nina but uh, North pretty pretty good at uh, stopping it but I can see it happening here tonight too where Borgard is getting in front of the defender when he brings it up. Interesting here, Marty, while we were talking, uh, uh, there's a violation here on the free throw attempt by Oshkosh West. Number 12, Tim Jarmuth stepped off the floor to talk to his coach. The official called that a violation and so canceled out the first free throw attempt. So now uh, number 22, Borchard, is going to be shooting his second attempt. 
the players have to stay on the court. Uh, you have to right. have all five players on the court while, you know, there's live action going on. We'll let it go if North does it, but not if the team that's winning by 20 does it. Yeah. <laughs> Kellner gets it on the high post. He's being double teamed again by Meyer, but then he gets it off. Jordan called for the offensive foul. Taking the charge was Benkoski. For Alex Jordan, that's his first. Well, that's putting their pressure on now in a dead ball situation. They get a chance to put pressure on. But they go right over the top of that pressure with their size. Yeah, really. You know, I was thinking too that might the one three one may not be the best thing because of their height, you know, being able to look over the defense. Jordan picks up his second fall. Couple Two of them in quick yeah. fashion. <laughs> Were we thinking alike yeah. a lot? <laughs> Alex taking a rest on the bench. Sitting next to uh, Steve Lacey. Free. Oh, nice pass by Borgard inside, but then it's taken away by Nolan Free. North on a bust out, broken up by Meyer, and West has it right back. And Jarmo slows it down. Boy, oh boy, just when you think you have something going, turnover by North. West working the perimeter, looking inside. And turnover Hils by the, the yeah. wild, Wildcats there. Yeah, Hillsbury lost it out of bounds. But the Raiders just can't seem to march uh, or, or mount a, a spurt here. That they you know, need. when was the last time they actually went two trips in a row of the basket? Yeah, or points even. I don't know if they've done that the whole game. Yeah, I don't. I agree with you. I don't think they have. Testament to the strong defense by West. Kick out to free, he's open, and he nails a three-point basket. First three-point basket for North. 38 to 16. Hillsburg comes up to relieve pressure. But the pressure was a little bit more effective that time after the three-pointer. Free's a good defender, boy, he's got quick hands. Borgard driving. Oh, wow. I don't know how there could be a no call on that. That had to be something. <laughs> I guess he just tipped it out of bounds. <laughs> I'd like to see a replay here. Watch this. <laughs> oh, he got all ball. <laughs> that was a better collision than I saw in some of the high school football games this fall. <laughs> really? Incidental contact. No blood, no foul. Jarmus has it on the wing. Uh, Oshkosh getting back into their pattern. Inside feed. A nice kick out pass, but uh, Borgert not open. Corey Dodge trying to make the steal, couldn't. Meyer, wow, goes up over the crowd for the rebound. Put back is no good. But I'll tell you, on this first drive to the basket, Tom, somebody had two hands on his jersey and he ripped right away. Yeah, he is strong. <laughs> He's Watch the strongest it, uh, kid out there. We're catching the end of the exchange. It was at the beginning when he just drove right by. It looked like a North guy. He had two hands on his jersey. Time out. We'll keep it right here. The winner of this game, by the way, will play on Thursday at 135 versus the winner of Milwaukee King. And Milwaukee Bayside, that game uh, being played at the Al McGuire Center this evening. Bayview, Martin. Bayview, Bayview. what did I say? Bayside. Bayview it is, Tom. Yeah. Bayview. <laughs> <laughs> Bayside, maybe they got a team this year, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> they don't have any losses, we know that. That's right. <laughs> Play a little AAU ball in the summer, too. Yeah. Well, it's no laughing matter here, though, at the call center. 38-16 to 16 and with... Uh, Four minutes or so to go left in the third quarter. And if the Raiders are going to do anything, they got to get going pretty quick. Jarmo has had 17 points in the first half, Tom. He doesn't have anything here in the third quarter so far. Has he taken a shot? 
I don't recall uh, him taking the shot. You know, that's. I one think of the he might have taken one down here and missed a jumper, but uh, you know, he's he's a star player, obviously, but he doesn't force the, the action. Meyer with a free throw. That's his first points of the second half. He has nine. Alex Conway in the ball game for North. Well, you know, that's only the fourth point for the Wildcats in the second half. Five now. North has five, so they're playing even up, but uh, obviously that's not nearly good enough. No. Free. Looking, has the ball tipped away by Thomas, and now he's followed oh, by... Uh, Austin Meyer. Yep. And Austin's like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> You're letting all this stuff go, yeah. now you call that. Ticky-tack little thing. Conway has it on the corner. Jarmo's still guarding T.J. Kellner. And it looks like uh, Nolan running the uh, point guard responsibilities right now. Good help defense by Meyer as uh, Conway was coming off the screen. Kellner fade away, nails it. Oh, what wow. a tough shot. Really, but even that really wasn't a good shot. Well, if you have to count on those kind going in for you to win. <laughs> Boy, it's going to be awfully tough. Yeah. Whoa. Corey Dodge picks up the loose ball. Corey from outside the line. Line drive shot is no good. Eirich on the save, but uh, apparently was out of bounds. Yeah, it was an air ball and hit the floor before uh, it was saved. Forty to eighteen, twenty-two point advantage by uh, Oshkosh West. They were last year's uh, state champions. Borgard probing, kicks it back out to Jarmus from just outside the line. He nails a three-pointer. Never 20. a doubt on that. He went up confident and drained it. He has twenty points in the ball game. You know. Kind of a quiet 22, if you ask me. The Wildcats lost uh, their star player from last year, Andy Polka, who was the state player of the year, uh, went to Chicago Loyola and now starts for the Ramblers. Uh, so, you know, they did lose the talent off last year, but they got plenty here. Schwer on a nice dump down, but uh, Eirich didn't catch the ball. And West comes away with it again. Another turnover by the Raiders. Borger almost lost the ball. And now he's fouled by Nolan Free. Alex Jordan and Steve Lacey coming in. Meyer back in for the Wildcats. They didn't let him out too long. He's really crucial to their team, I think. You know, there are certain guys that are just so important. And, of course, it's not always your scorer. Sometimes it's your you ball bet. handler or, you, you know, bet. the guy that does everything kind of thing. And that's what Meyer is. Whoa. Borgard. Underlays, but he gets his own rebound. Throws it back up. It's no good. Steve Lacey with a strong rebound. Jordan. Leaning, shooting, and scoring. And he tipped his ankle as he came down. See if we can get a replay of that. Scott. See what happened to... Uh, you're going to see it. Watch his ankle. Oh, yep, he tipped it as he landed right at the end. Right ankle. Looks like he's going to try to play through the pain. Sometimes, it, you know, that Sitting down initial, is the worst thing. Yeah, and that initial pain, uh, he's going to walk it off a little bit. I think he's going to be okay. Looks like it's getting better already. I'm ready. I need the points. Nolan Free getting ready to check in. He's right in front of us. Bad thing about this is the clock stop it gives the Wildcats a chance to get Charmless back in the game. <laughs> Jordan hobbling off. North applying their full court pressure. Meyer with a bad pass. But Jarmus crashing into the table as they went after the ball. I think they got Schwer with the foul on, <laughs> on Jarmus. You know what? I almost think that's a good call. 
Well, that's six fouls on the Raiders. Uh, on the next one, the uh, Wildcats will be in the bonus. And there's 2.16 remaining in the third quarter. That's a long time to be shooting bonus. Healdsburg has it on the wing. Anderson back in the game, the 6'8 freshman. Jarmos right over the crowd. Easy shot, puts it off the glass. But and a in. nice entry pass by Meyer. He had a good angle, kept it low. Deasing getting ready to check in. Kellner had his shot blocked, but I think he did draw the foul. I think you're right. We might have got away with a walk there before the foul, but uh, foul called on Jarmos. I got, no, no, that is his second. Kellner at the line. And a slow night for TJ. In terms of points, he has four. It's been a slow night for Sheboygan North basketball in terms of points yeah. here on the boys' side. Stuck on 21 with a uh, minute and 52 left in the third quarter. That's not typical North numbers. Borgard bringing it up, being pressured by uh, T.J. Kellner. Again, uh, West looking to repeat as state champs. They were uh, state champs last year. And uh, you mentioned 47-1. Uh, and one Coming into this year this for year Coach for Lance Randall. Lance Randall, and uh, give them uh, 21 more. That's 68-3, and three, not counting tonight's game. And we are not going to count tonight's game until we have to. That's right. Matter of fact, we, we may not even mention it after the game. By the way, Tom, you know, the last time we worked together, Sheboygan Christian lost by 28. It's not looking good tonight. Your job is definitely on the line. It is in jeopardy. <laughs> I can tell that. Chris Wright will be. <laughs> we thought he was Wally Pip. That's right. <laughs> Tommy Olson getting ready to check in. Tommy, the old left-hander. Coach Dustal looking for somebody to provide a spark, get something I, going. I think here. what we need to provide a spark for North is the second teamers from West. Lacey has it on the wing. I'll tell you, West continues to play very, very tough defense. Eirik from outside the line can't get it to roll in. Jarmos with another rebound. Good move by Eirik though, took the step back and uh, freed himself up. Good double up by Nolan Free, but Jarmo was able to get the ball away. Wildcats opening up the court again now and gonna run some clock here at the end of the quarter. And But they turn it over. Thomas lost the ball, under a minute left. Lacey popped back, no good, but he is fouled. Steve Lacey a little more offensive last night and tonight. Ball goes on Austin Meyer. It's three on Meyer. He plays an aggressive game. And Koski in the ball game. Free uh, triggering the inbounds. Gets it into Ole. We haven't seen uh, Nolan run the team from the point guard spot all year. Jumper by uh, TJ Kellner is good. Nice looking shot by TJ. Rolls up above the crowd for that one. Borgard dribbles right through the north press. 10 seconds left. I imagine they don't look for, oh, John was isn't in the game. <laughs> Borger dumps it off inside to Dave Anderson for an easy basket. And that's the quarter. At the end of three quarters of play, Oshkosh West, 49, North, 24.
have the... Uh... Back at the call center, there you see the North High Raiders with coach Tom Desatel. Uh, they're not going to win this ball game, but uh, they still want to give a good showing as best they can. They will always play hard, and they'll play hard through this fourth quarter. They did play hard, and in the third quarter, they played pretty much even with the uh, Wildcats. were outscored by one in the quarter, but when you're, when you're down 24 at halftime, uh, that's not good enough. Jordan, Kellner, Olsen, Corey Dodge, and uh, Nolan Free in the ball game. Free being pressured. West continuing in the man-to-man -man defense and very tough. Jordan driving hard to the hoop and he's fouled. Thomas committing the foul. And uh, for Ron Kevin Thomas, that'll be his third. And normally the fifth team foul on West, but uh, Jordan will be shooting a pair. And Tim Jones coming back into the game for the Wildcats. Coach Randall gave him a little bit of breather at the end of the third quarter. Let him sit through the quarter break and now brings him in. Uh, so he's going to be fresh for whatever he's needed in this fourth quarter. This will be the fifth free throw attempt by uh, Alex Jordan. He's made two out of four so far, looking for three out of five. He's got it. Alex Jordan with five points in tonight's ball game. Tommy Olsen guarding Borgard. I'll tell you that Brady Borgard can really handle the ball well. Kellner guarding Jarmus. Austin Meyer. Meyer on the drive. That was an offensive foul, and they called it. Okay. That's four on Meyer. Yep. Fourth fall on Austin Meyer, and it looks like uh, Kevin Thomas will come in for him. So 24 for 42. Here, Dix, dyslectic, that could be a problem. Olsen has it on the wing. Healdsburg playing real tough defense on free. Free working hard to get open. Wildcats staying in their man-to-man, -man, and why would you change when it's been working so well? Oh, Nolan Free. Pretty dry. Yeah, it was a dandy. Over the tall timber again. Conway guarding the ball. Jarmus has it on top. He's been Mr. Everything tonight for uh, the West Wildcats. Brady Borgard. 15 footers, nothing but the bottom of the net. Nine points for uh, Borgart, inside feed to Dodge. Looking to go one on one with Ben Koski. Nice fake. Shot up, no good. Jordan shot, no good. Ben Koski with the rebound. You know, not many offensive rebounds by North, but they got one there. And Tommy Olsen fighting through the screen a little too aggressively. Picks up the foul. Well, they're calling it on TJ Kellner. Hmm. It's three on TJ. Yeah, Derek Deasing coming in for Tommy Olsen. Some of these North seniors looking at uh, the end of their career tonight. And that's always kind of a sad time. You know, you put all that time and effort in, and uh, it's going to end uh, for everybody at some point, but you always like to go well, out on a, with a good feeling. It's like you said at Fond du Lac the other night, too. You know, there's only four teams in the state, boys teams, that end their season with a win, everybody else with a loss. Kellner going hard to the basket, and he gets uh, draws the foul. Blocking foul is going to be called on John Benkoski. TJ did a good job of creating uh, contact there and drawing the foul. That's the first foul on Benkowski. He's done a nice job on the boards tonight. The one thing about when you're playing an opponent that doesn't make many baskets, <laughs> everybody's going to have pretty good rebound stats. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. And Benkowski listed at 6'8". Uh, he looks every bit of that, I think. You think so? Yeah. Okay, 6'6". 6'7". Six, six. <laughs> six, <laughs> does he look taller than Jarwin's, do you? we got to get him together around there. Uh, Jarmos no, is listed at 6'7". I think Jarmos looks a little taller, but that might be a product of being a little thinner. Yeah, that's possible. You know what I was pretty good at at one time, Tom? I, I have no idea. <laughs> it wasn't announcing. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I, when I would see kids, you know, I used to do a lot of basketball camps and stuff. I was pretty good, actually, at determining a guy's height by just looking at him. Okay. You know, when you hang around those kind of guys enough and you see them, you know, and they tell you how tall they are and... I was always pretty close within an inch or so, which I think is pretty reasonable. Okay. So you think John Woods is uh, every bit of 6'7"? Yeah, but I'm out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that many tall kids in the Fox River Valley. Wildcats being very patient here. To a fault. Which makes sense, I guess, but... Uh, it's not like they have to worry about winning the game. No, I wouldn't think. It looks like they've got... Pretty much control of it. That foul on uh, Nolan Free. And uh, going to the line will be uh, Brady Borgard. He's going to look for his 10th point, getting the double double figures. He's a nice looking player, too. I'm, I'm impressed with the way he handles the ball, you know, and seems to play under control even when he knows he could uh, create a fast break. But uh, you know what that might be? They say the best motivator is the bench. <laughs> if he started fast, fast breaking too much, he might be sitting. Yeah, because it kind of goes counter to their style. Right. But you know, when they get up, when they get down to state now, and they're going to be playing. I mean, not that North isn't a good team. Kellner's shot uh, misses everything. But if you get behind against some teams, you have to have that ability right. to uh, play fast, play an up tempo game. And their, their first game down there is going to be against the Milwaukee City Conference team. And uh, certainly with the quickness that those teams usually display, uh, it'd be nice for the Wildcats to be able to have the lead like this and dictate tempo. I was always of the opinion that if I lose to a team, I'd just soon have that team win, win the tournament simply because then you can say, well, we lost to the champs. Well, I'm sure, but... Unless, uh, the, unless the other team was, you know, not a very nice group of guys. <laughs> that's small consolation, but, yeah, uh, yeah that, typically that's how most people feel. How about you? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Once you're out, we don't want anybody to win that. That's right. <laughs> I'm rooting for the snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day. Kellner with a good thump fake, puts it off the glass yeah. and in. He got uh, Jarmuth's up off his feet and uh, went up and under him. 11 points for TJ. Oh, and the turnover here by the Wildcats. Well, I think since Jarmuth went for a pump fake, put him on the bench, coach. Yeah. Teach yeah. him a lesson. Jordan takes the inbounds pass, being guarded by Thomas. Kellner drew the foul on Anderson. He brought his hand down in an attempt to block the shot and committed the foul. And he probably didn't need to swat it like that if he'd gone straight up. But, you know, the shot was certainly contested with his height. Uh, right there. How tall does that Anderson look to you, Marty? Every bit of 6'8". <laughs> So you glance down at your program first. <laughs> 404 remaining in the fourth quarter. It's 55-31. We're going to take a short break and be right back. <laughs> Great shot, Eric. Eric Wiesman on that camera. Brian Andrews on the floor camera. Tim Miloff spinning the dials in the truck. I'm Mike Martin. My partner is Tom Grams. Uh, Tom, on short notice, I want to thank you again for uh, coming over to do the ball game. 
Yeah, it's been fun. I wish uh, we could have a little better news coming from the call center and maybe a little bit more competitive game, but it uh, looks like the Raiders are running into a real buzzsaw here. The Wildcats are on the top of their game, and that trip to Madison seems to be uh, awaiting them again. Kellner at the line is going to shoot a couple. TJ is uh, four for five so far in the ball game from the free throw line. Looking for five for six. He's got it. 13 points for TJ. It's 55-33. The Raiders haven't given up here, Marty. They're still putting pressure on full court and still playing hard. Charmos gets around uh, Kellner. Deezing guarding the ball. A lot of picking and screening by the West Wildcats trying to get uh, players open. The one thing they don't seem to do is look underneath quite as much right now as they did earlier in the ball game. And they, as you mentioned that, they <laughs> look underneath the Germans. And Anderson on the third attempt. Well, 6-7 tips it to 6-8. Yeah, <laughs> really. Ball committed by uh, Kevin Thomas, and that's his fourth. Austin Meyer coming back in. Three twenty-three left in the ball game, Marty. One and one for uh, Alex Jordan. Need a good shot of Alex. Oh, roll. That rims out. Yeah. Jarmuth with the rebound. Now. Blocking fall on TJ. As a coach, Tom, you know, you have a 20 plus lead. You know, when do you start getting your uh, bench players in there? Because it's got to be getting pretty close now. Yeah, I would think. And if you're, you're a parent close. sitting in the stands, you've got to be bet. wondering the same thing. You bet. 24 point lead, 318 left. John was shooting two as the Wildcats are in the double bonus now. The 10th team foul on the Raiders. I would think uh, Coach Randall's got to be thinking. Uh, Pretty soon we're going to call off the dogs here. If nothing else, don't get anybody hurt. Right. I mean, that's always a possibility. You certainly would hate to have Jarmo twist an ankle or Austin Meyer. Well, the second shot was missed by uh, Tim Jarmus, but uh, West came away with the rebound again. Anderson tipped it out to Jarmus. Now the Wildcats running a little delay, and the uh, Raiders forced the foul. All goes on Corey Dodge. Four new players checking in for the Raiders. Heelsberg at the line. Nice soft, nice soft touch by uh, Brent Heelsberg. He has four points in a ball game. Hit a three-pointer in the second quarter. That was a stinger at the time. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I think it was 18 to seven, and all of a sudden it was 21 to seven. That's when Tom called a timeout. Puts in a pair as five. The score mounts to 60 to 33 with two minutes under three minutes now to go in the game. North working for the shot, but I'll tell you, West continues to play the real tough defense. They're not giving the Raiders anything. No, and they still have got their first unit in there, so, you know, they're taking pride in this. Eric taking it to the hoop. Shot off the glass is no good. And we get a fast break to Heelsburg. We haven't had many fast breaks tonight, have we? No, I, uh, that may have been the first one. I thought they had an opportunity at one in the first half, but uh, Jarmos pulled it back. It was either him or Borgart. It was like watching the Badger Illini game today. There were no fast breaks in that game either. A lot of defense, though. A lot of defense. There's a good inside look. Eric gets the easy basket. Off the glass. 62-35, and now we get one, two, three, four, five new players coming in for Oshkosh. Coach Randall wanted to wait till the two-minute mark, apparently. And now that we're under two minutes uh, at the next ball stoppage, uh, we'll get a whole new group of players. Basket is up and in by John Benkoski. And then we get a timeout, a 30-second timeout by West to get the substitutes right. in. 
Coach Randall just did that to get the reserves in. This one's over, Marty. It's 64-35 with a minute and 43 left. Let's hope that the Raider girls have better success tonight in Madison in the state championship game so that uh, at least there will be something to cheer about on the north side tonight. Well, I'll tell you, North didn't finish this, the regular season very strong. Uh, you know, losing, I think it was uh, four out of seven right at the end, and uh, that one bad loss uh, cost them the conference championship. But I'll tell you, since then, in tournament action, they've really turned it up and yeah, have played very, very, nice very well. Like you said before, they just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. Yeah, I, uh, even if they're on top of their game, I don't think they're winning tonight, Marty. Not the way the Wildcats are playing. Eric Lahaki, Josh Belleville, um, Matt Boyce, Matt, pardon me, Blake Markey. Rebound by Poles is no good, and then his shot is blocked. And also in the ball game is Mike. Shivington. Looks like Matt there's a little difference in the talent level out there by the Wildcats right now. <laughs> exactly. Matt Clark in for uh, North. His first action tonight. Wow. Shivington just, or Marquis just said, put that in your face, Mr. Grams. You betcha. <laughs> Kellner, quick three-pointer is no good. Ball tapped out. Pulls has it. And trying to get it back. And there's a big dive on the ball. That and was a scrum that time. Really goes out of bounds off of Oshkosh. TJ Kellner coming out. Alex Conway stepping on the floor. We're under a minute in the ball game. Under a minute in the season for the Raiders. And the Wildcats will be advancing. And they will play Thursday afternoon at 1.30 against the winner of the Milwaukee King-Milwaukee Bayview game tonight. Nick Korger and Ryan Wolf in for uh, Oshkosh. Pulls kicks it out to Conway. Bango, Alex Conway. Well, he looks smooth on that shot. I think we'll see a lot of Alex next year. Lahaki hit a three-pointer late in the ball game last night. They'll have to keep an eye on him. Wolf, nothing but the bottom of the net for Ryan Wolf. He must be a favorite for the Wildcat fans, and one of the deep reserves, because they're letting out a big cheer at his basket. Conway's long three is no good. Down to 14 seconds. That could be it for the ball game. Five seconds. And that's the ball game. Oshkosh West is going on to state. They win it 69 to 38 over Sheboygan North. And uh, let's, take a uh, let's take a short break, Scott, and we come back. We'll have uh, some final comments from Tom and some final totals, and uh, we'll wrap this ball game up. Drivers face all kinds of distractions. Before your wireless phone becomes one of them, stop. Drive safely. Keep your phone in easy reach and dial sensibly. In bad weather or traffic, call later and use a hands-free device. Remember, with wireless, safety is your call. One day, you were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. There you see uh, Oshkosh coming out and getting their uh, medals for the sectional championship. Uh, let me run through some scoring real quick, Tom, and then I'd uh, like some comments from you. Uh, TJ Kellner finished uh, with 13 points. He was a high scorer for North. Following him was uh, Nolan Free with uh, nine. And then it was Jordan with five. Tom Eirich with four. Tim Shore with four. Alex Conway had a three-pointer late in the ballgame. 
for uh, Oshkosh West. They were led by their all-star player, Tim Jarmus, with 23 points. Chipping in with 12 was Austin Meyer. Brady Borgart, their nice point guard, had 11. And uh, those were the top scorers for Oshkosh. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, Oshkosh, Tom, because they really did look good tonight. And I know we talked about it a lot, but uh, let's mention it one more time. Well, they're obviously a good team, Marty. They've got, they've got a little bit of everything. They've got size. They've got quickness. They can handle the ball. They, you know, they've got a star player in Jarmuth, but they don't have to rely on him. He only averages 15 points a game. He's not a selfish player. They've got other people who can put the ball in the hoop. I think it's going to take uh, a good team to beat him if anybody beats him down there. It'll be interesting to see how they do when they get down to Madison, but they're certainly going to represent this section all well. I didn't uh, total up all the statistics from uh, tonight's ball game, but just as an aside, they made seven out of eight free throws in the fourth quarter, and they didn't miss any in the third quarter. Made, I think, uh, five out of six. So in that respect, they're a good team. But uh, if, if you had a concern about their style of play, uh, what would it be? Well, the only thing you might have some concern is if they would get behind somebody. Do they have the kind of up-tempo play to, to come back on them? But uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say that they wouldn't have it because they certainly look good shooting the ball, and they play great defense. They contest every shot. They've got a hand up on the shooter all the time. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to find fault with anything that they did tonight, and uh, I think they're going to represent themselves well down in Madison. As they roll on to state, they have a 20 and 2 record. Sheboygan North finishes their season with a 17 and 7 record, and uh, they've got a lot of nice players coming back next year. You'd have to think they'd be a favorite in the valley to win that. I would think so. I mean, I think they they had a nice run here in the tournament at the end of the year. That ought to give them, a, you know, some momentum for next year. Keeps the guys a little mo more motivated to work hard in the off season, and they should uh, they should be primed. They, you know, they had a real nice tournament run. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be tonight. Well, with that, for the crew, we had uh, Scott Miloff spinning the dials in the truck. Brian Andrews behind that camera. Uh, Eric Wiesman up on the top camera. For my partner, Tom Grams, again, Tom, thank you very much for coming over. It's always a, a great treat for me to, to announce with you because you're so knowledgeable about basketball. Well, thanks, Marty. It was a pleasure, and uh, maybe we can do it again sometime. Yep. And I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. By the way, stay tuned on TV8 because we will have some uh, spring baseball, hopefully. So long, everybody.